last year has been so rough for everybody. It's been so rough for everybody. But we're in a new year now, and there's some stuff that we have to change about ourselves. Me as well, we have to change about ourselves. And we are doing this fasting. I know a lot of people, they, they struggle with fasting. They struggle with fasting. They struggle, they struggle, they struggle. But the fasting is supposed to strengthen, strengthen us, especially in the spiritual realm so that we can flee away from the enemy. And that's how we be able to don't lead to temptation. And we have a lot of people that lead I don't want none of y'all to take this fasting as a burden. We are supposed to Take this fasting as a joy. Take this fasting as something that we are trying to help ourselves to get close to God. Sometimes we, we be doing our little thing, we be doing, we be going to work, we be doing, we be going to school. And sometimes we get distracted and sometimes we forget to pray, we forget to, to read our Bible, we forget to do things like that. But I'm going to tell you that the fasting is supposed to strengthen us. And that's why we do 21 days of fasting so that we can get closer to God. And listen to me. If you continue, continually to do the work of the Lord, you will see how many blessings in your life will come. How many blessings in your life can come. Don't worry about the people that's out in the world and they are trying to interdict you, introduce you to sin. I promise you, I promise you, if you come to Jesus sincerely, come to Jesus. He will solve all your needs. He will solve all your needs. It's not going to happen today. It's not going to happen tomorrow. But you just have to come to the Lord. And say, Lord, I need your help. I need you right now, Lord Jesus. I know I have done stuff that I is not worthy unto you Lord Jesus but forgive me and he will honor that but you have to do it daily and that's how you'll be able to resist the devil you might fall to here and there don't don't think that it's gonna happen one the first day and second day but you have to keep it going you have to keep it going you have to keep it going so don't take this fasting as a burden don't take this fasting as a burden this fasting is supposed to help you be stronger in the Lord help you get away from the temptations help you be be happier each and every day it's supposed to help you like a lot of people in this world they are so miserable. They are so, they, they, their lives are so not unto God. Them curse, they, they, they quarrel. Everything they say, you say to them, they, they, they mess up them face and listen to me. You see how many Christians out there 
that are so when they talk to you they are so welcoming they are so their speech is so good it's because God has used them so gratefully and you have to know what you want from God and the Lord is gonna is gonna bring to you into a place where you, you 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 don't feel sorry anymore you don't feel mad anymore you don't feel but the thing about it is you have to be sincere about it you can't just go ahead and do what you want you have to be sincere about it sincere is the key sincerity sincerity is a key so don't take this this fasting as a burden no it's not a burden trust me if you can go seven days of fasting 14 days of fasting 21 days of fasting try and do it it will it will it will it will make your life so much easier you you will feel so much better you will, you will feel like you can go on I never really thought that fasting was so good really really I never thought that but this is a year we all have to get back to God we all have to to look at now ourselves and say Lord in the name of Jesus I want everything from you Lord Jesus I need you to come in in situations where I can't do it alone I want you to get my situations out I want you to bless me each and every day so that I can keep going on in this world I know that there's a lot of temptation out there, but I want you to sanctify me, oh Jesus. I want you, Lord God, to keep coming into my life and move any situation that, that is keep hindering me to come closer to you. And everything will come to pass. Everything will come to pass. Believe me. Believe me. Everything will come to pass. You have to be sincere. And that's where God comes in your life. That's where God comes in your life. Be sincere.